Hello, my name is Vadim. I'm an IT specialist here from Nagios, and today we'll be showing you how you can monitor Windows with Nagios XI. Windows machines have a few services that we can monitor, such as hard drives, CPU usage, and RAM. By monitoring these components with XI, you could take the first step towards seamless server monitoring and unlock the true potential of your Windows Server environment. With that being said, let's get started. To monitor a Windows device, we first go to Configure on the top, then click Configuration Wizards. Here, we could search, or we could click Windows, and look for Windows Server. Once we found it, we click on it, and here it'll ask you to set up NCPA. This download link will take you to the latest version of NCPA. You will download the EXE installer. We will want to go to the host machine and go find the download. We will click Yes, and then we'll click Next. I agree. It will ask you to make a token. This token can be customized to anything you would like, and you will need to remember this token in the future if you would like to monitor this machine with multiple XIs. In our example, we are going to type XI for life and click Next. Here we find NRDP, which is passive checks. We'll click Next. Install only just for this computer. Install. And finished. Once we've installed NCPA on our Windows server, we can find its IP address, which in our case will be 103. The port will stay the same, 5693. And now we enter in that token that we previously stated. We click Next. We are brought to a page where we can select different metrics and parameters for warnings and criticals. Depending on the user, you could change the CPU and memory usage, as well as disk space, network traffic, server uptime, status, and event log monitoring. The defaults for the disk and memory space are a bit low. We recommend changing them to reflect your usage. CPU usage will monitor the overall system load of the CPU and see if there's any bottlenecks. User count will show you how many users are currently logged into the system. Memory metrics will show the main memory usage as well as the swap memory. Disk metrics, we could see that the C and D drive and its current usage. Network phase, so we could see that the Ethernet is at 10. We could change this to 100. And arrive. Network interface will show you if you have internet that's slower than usual. Services like Windows Defender and new ones can be added for another service check. Under process, you could add any more processes and the thresholds. Here are some Windows counters that can also be monitored. We'll leave this as default and any plugins that we'd like to add. Then we click Next. Under normal circumstances, it monitors every five minutes. And when there's a potential problem, it'll recheck it every one minute up to five times before sending a notification. We want to click Next. When a problem is detected, it'll send a notification immediately. If the problem persists, it'll send a notification every 60 minutes. And this sends alert notifications to the contact and contact groups. Then we want to click Next. Here we could add it to different host groups and service groups. 
And if we have any other parent hosts, we could add it here. Then we'll click next. And if we want to add more servers, we can save this as a template or just hit apply. This page shows that it's been successfully added. We can view the status details right here. With that, we see everything is okay. And we have one item that's critical. We can further view the performance graph, disable notifications for this service, or view the service by clicking on it. If you have any further questions or concerns, be sure to check out support.nagios.com. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.